What's up, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with more adventure series. We've got Major Arnold Tot from uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, one of the main bad guys of the movie. A uh, super iconic scene at the end where his face melts. I do have a gift for that, so maybe we'll show that in the video if YouTube doesn't destroy me for that. And not that I have ads or anything, but it's still, it, it's great that they included a head sculpt of that. But yeah, with all that being said, we'll take a closer look at the box and then we'll get this bad boy open. Taking a look at the front of the box, Indiana Jones Adventure Series. We've got to render the figure, build an artifact, Major Arnold Tot. Going to the side, we do have some artwork of the character from the movie. Don't know the actor's name, but the likeness is there on the artwork for sure. Spinning it around, we get another render of the figure along with his accessories, which is an alternate head, an alternate hand, and a gun, which is cool. And then on this side, we get the rest of the figures in the wave and, of course, the build and artifact, what PC comes with. So, yeah, with all of that being said, let's get this really, really, really bad boy open. So I just cut the tape on Todd's box and we will pull him out. I'm sure everything will be in here and it is. We've got the figure in there. It's upside down. There he is. I don't know if I can say it what he is in here, but here's the old fascist himself, Arnold Tot. so cool. And here is Major Arnold Tot out of the box. He looks really cool, good likeness to the actor, don't know his name, like I said, but the one gripe that I have with Indy, this guy he has, he has a removable hat and it doesn't look goofy or anything, it just sits on his head nicely, so I don't know why they couldn't give Indy a removable hat. That being said, we do get some cool accessories and we get this cool figure. I just hope they make some like, you know, thuggy villains, some some foot soldiers, some German soldiers, because this guy is a part of that certain German army from World War II. But yeah, with all, like, let me zoom in a little bit, actually. Doesn't really want to focus too well because uh, he's got his hat and his glasses on. But like I said, the likeness is pretty good to the actor. We've got a nice trench coat, nicely sculpted. Um, it's some softer rubber, so won't really get in the way, but he won't be posed other than like this, usually with that on anyway, or holding his hand up, because we do get another hand. I'll show you guys that in the accessories. The glasses aren't removable, but like I said, the hat is. So yeah, cool to have some bad guys, finally. Checking out Major Tot's height, he stands at, let me see, he stands at just about six inches, which is right for the line, so he wants to fall over, because he's got wonky ankles, which we'll talk about. He doesn't like to stand very well, but yeah, that's about in scale for the line. Going over his accessories, first off, we get this alternate hand that has the uh, the head of the Staff of Ra burned into it from in the scene when he picks it up when it's burning hot. And then we have the first head sculpt that is just him with the glasses on. Uh, sorry. Then we also get his fedora, which fits on both hats, and surprisingly, we get his face melting sculpt from the end of the movie. Then we get a gloved trigger holding hand for his gun from the scene in the beginning when uh, Indy meets up with Marion and he gets the head of the staff of Raw. But yeah, really cool accessories for him. And we do have one more. We have we have this plastic shell coat that goes over his shoulders because he doesn't he doesn't put his arms in the sleeves anyway. And you get the arm down there and uh, fits right over his shoulders. It's it's sculpted nicely. It sits nicely. It's just he doesn't stand very well, especially with that on. But yeah, that's the accessories for Major Tout here. And then another accessory that we get is the build an artifact piece, which we got this scuffed piece of the Ark of the Covenant and this end, but we're just missing the top and the bottom in the the uh, handles, which come with Sala and Belloc, respectively. So yeah, we're almost done with this first wave in the Ark of the Covenant. Going over the articulation, starting at the top of the head, we do have this double barbell system, but we also have um, a barbell down in the neck where the tie meets at the next collar, so that's pretty nice. All kinds of movement there, forward, side to side, backwards, all that good stuff. Uh, no ab crunch or whatever to speak of. Uh, shoulders come up about 90 degrees. Elbows come in. Oh, if they do. There we go. Single elbow comes in about 90 degrees. A little tight there, I might need to heat them up. Uh, floating joints on the wrist, so you can send them wherever you want. There is no bicep cut, but we do get a swivel at the elbow coming down. Legs go up about that far to the side, that far forward, that far back. There is no butt kicking action with these guys because they have single legs, but that being said, we do have that swivel down there under the bicep, and then we have forward, backward, 
side to side, rockers, all that good stuff. First, for scale and comparison, we have our adventure series Marion and Indy next to Tot. As you can see, Indy is taller, of course, and Marion is shorter. Next up, for scale and comparison, for Black series, we have Major Tot with uh, Wicket and the Scout Trooper. As you can see, he is taller than Wicket, about the same height as the Scout Trooper. For some SH figure arts, here he is with Ultraman and Harley Quinn from Birds of Prey. For some Marvel Legends, here he is with our MCU Bro Thor and our comic book Marvel Legends King in Black Venom based on the Sony movie body, so kind of a crossover there. For some Lightning Collection, here he is with Green and Pink. Super excited for the announcement of the remasters of both of these, especially with that removable dragon shield on the red that when the green without it, that's super cool. That's a super cool way to redo it. And I good Hasbro props for that. Probably gonna pick those two up for sure. So with all of that being said, you guys, I will say Major Arnold Tolt is totally worth it because he was totally worth it to me. Great to get more characters in the Avengers series, especially villain, haven't had one yet. So great to have him. We get that awesome melting face head sculpt. We get this sweet hand right here. You know, the one with the, uh, the Staff of Raw pendant melted in there. But yeah, it's, like I said, if you guys want to see more content like this Adventure Series video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell so you never miss any uploads. And of course, let me know what you think of this figure, this line, how your day is going. Just let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys. I will see you next time and bye-bye.